you record any kind of audio? If you do, you've probably made recordings where the audio was not good. You know, the quality was just plain bad. And you actually were fearful that no one would listen to your work because the audio was that bad. Well, today I'm going to share with you a free and open source software program called Audacity, which is one of the best free and open source programs on the planet. And it can sometimes turn really bad audio into something quite amazing. Let's get started. Before we get started, I do want to make uh, one comment. YouTube. Everybody here that has a YouTube account technically has a YouTube channel. Now, most of us never bother uploading any videos to our YouTube channel. Uh, but a few of us will try it out at some point. A few of you guys will try it out at some point. And I promise you that very first video is going to be terrible. The audio quality is going to be horrible. The video quality is going to be horrible. Uh, and, of course, you're going to have no idea exactly what you're doing. You will, will not have found your voice because you're, you're brand new to this sort of thing. But by far, the biggest thing you can do when starting out on YouTube is sorting out the audio quality. That is the number one thing that will send people just running away from your channel. If the audio is really low and I can't hear it, I'm not, I'm not gonna bother watching your video. If the audio is really distorted and it makes it very difficult to even understand the words you're saying, I'm not gonna listen to your video. You know, if it's really staticky, you know, whatever the audio problem is, I, I can watch bad video, but bad audio most people are not going to stick around because there's millions and millions and mil billions probably videos out there especially on youtube why listen to one with bad audio when i can just do, do a quick search probably find another video on the exact same topic with much better audio so the one way to obviously clean up bad audio is to buy better equipment when you're first starting out, when you're first starting out on YouTube, you're not going to buy expensive equipment. You know, you're not going to buy, you know, like my $400 microphone here and, you know, the thousand dollars worth of equipment back there on that audio server rack. You're not going to do that, right? You're just going to roll with whatever you happen to have, which may be a microphone on your cell phone, or it might be a lapel mic. It might be a headset mic. It might be something really cheap. You know, maybe you'll invest a few bucks and go buy something like, I don't know, a $50 blue s snowball or, you know, one of the uh, Samson meteor mics. But although those will be much better in terms of audio quality, you still probably won't be happy with how that video and that audio quality turn out because there's still going to be some noise. There's still going to be some distortion. You know, it won't sound professional. So how do you clean up bad audio? Well, a tool I like to use is Audacity. Audacity is free and open source software. It's cross-platform. So it is available on Windows and Mac and, of course, on Linux. It's a first-class citizen on Linux because being free and open source, most people develop free and open source software on Linux and then they port it to Windows and Mac. Now Audacity, one of the cool things about it is that it's free of charge. Now when we talk about free and open source software, I'm talking about free as in freedom, but in this case it is also free as in cost but uh, if you find this program useful and if you record any kind of audio if you do any kind of audio work whether doing you know videos on youtube or twitch or what have you other video platforms or audio only you know podcasting radio trust me you're gonna love audacity and if you use it on a regular basis i strongly suggest clicking the donate tab and giving these guys a few dollars again this is one of the most popular free and open source uh, programs out there on the planet one of the most important and i think it's a just a shining example of what free and open source software can be so the first thing i want to do is i want to record some bad audio and clean it up so the way i'm going to do that is i'm going to remove some of the filtering that's going on back there on my uh, audio server you know get rid of some of the compression and you know so, some of the effects that it's doing to my audio 
to get my audio sounding the way you're hearing it right now. I'm going to make my audio sound quite bad, actually, by turning off some of those effects. And then what we're going to do is we're going to clean up that bad audio in Audacity. So what I decided to do, I just pushed my blue baby bottle SL microphone out of the way because that's a very expensive and quite nice microphone and I probably couldn't get that bad of a sound out of that microphone to be honest because it's an XLR mic I still have to plug it into either a mixing board or a USB audio interface and then run it into the computer and those interfaces or the mixing board will clean up the audio a little bit it it wouldn't be representative of the bad audio beginning YouTubers often have. So I pulled out a microphone that I think is more representative of the kind of microphone most YouTubers start out with. I pulled out my old Blue Yeti mic. It's a USB mic, which means it doesn't plug into a mixing board or USB interface. We're just going to plug it directly into the computer. Hopefully the audio quality is not that great. Hopefully it's pretty bad. And if it is, we're going to clean up that audio inside Audacity. So I'm back on my blue baby bottle SL, which is plugged into my standard audio equipment that I've been using. So back to my typical sound, but we did record that short audio clip using the Blue Yeti. So I'm going to go back to my desktop here, and I've got Audacity opened. And I'm going to drag that MP4 file that I recorded uh, using the Blue Yeti. MP4, of course, is video, but Audacity is just an audio editor, so all it does is show you the audio waveform. There's no video uh, to edit. If you want to actually edit video, you know, you should open up something like Caden Live or, you know, a proper video editor. But today we're just cleaning up the audio, and I'm going to play back a little bit of the audio inside Audacity. Um, I'm listening on my earbuds. So what I decided to do, I just pushed my Okay, listening on earbuds is the best way <laughs> to actually hear what's going on. This audio is bad. I just listened to like five seconds. It's bad. So at the beginning, before I start speaking, there is a ton of background noise. Just a, a hiss, a static that's going on. What that is, is just the background noise of the house, the central air and heat or a fan blowing, or the refrigerator upstairs, or a car driving by on the street right here outside my window, or the train the track that's half a mile down the road, whatever, you got some background noise going on, just the general background noise of your environment is that hissing when you're not speaking. We need to get rid of that. That's the very first thing you need to get rid of, and instantly the audio quality will be much better. So how you get rid of it is you go to effects, and you go to noise reduction and if you click noise reduction it's going to tell you you didn't really select anything for it to noise reduce the first thing you need to do is select some portion of this clip where you were not speaking so the beginning here where I took a few seconds to start speaking is perfect select that and what that is is just background noise right anything that's going on there is just background noise because I'm not speaking so we've got that highlighted, go back to effect, go back to noise reduction, and now step one, select a few seconds of just just noise, we did that, and then click get noise profile. Alright, so now Audacity knows what noise is in this clip. Now select the whole clip, you can just go over here to the far left and just click it and it will click, it will select the entire clip here. And then go back to effects, go back to noise reduction, and this time go down here and click OK. Now the levels, I think, I don't know if I've played with these or, or not, but noise reduction 12, sensitivity 6, frequency smoothing is 3. I think these are the default settings for Audacity. I'm just going to click OK. Now let's go back and listen and see if it got rid of that annoying noise at the beginning. So what I decided to do, I just instant improvement no more hissing in those first few seconds it was gone I, I could barely hear a little bit of something going on but just just a hair before it was shockingly bad so the next thing we need to do if I'm looking at this waveform you see certain waves are much wider than others it's because when you're speaking naturally sometimes you get louder sometimes you get softer you know, and one of the things we need to do is make this a little more consistent, make it a little more normal. So, you know, some of the really loud stuff, so loud that I'm probably peaking at that point, we need to bring those down, you know. So, 
people that are listening on earbuds, their ears don't bleed <laughs> listening to you. And the really soft parts where people have to maybe struggle hearing you or can't really understand, you can't, can't they can't hear you enunciate because the sound is so low, we'll bring those up. And the effect we want, go back to the effects menu, is the compressor effect. And again, I think these are just the defaults in oh, uh, Audacity. I haven't played with these at all. I'm just going to click OK, and it's going to compress our audio. Again, it should make the audio more consistent. So it's not a big difference between when we're speaking loud and when we're speaking high. But I can tell you, even though it made it much more consistent, I can tell overall the whole clip is going to be louder. But let's listen to it. I mean, and I've got a gauge right here inside Audacity. It'll let me know every time I'm peaking. So what I decided to do, I just pushed my blue baby bottle. Did you see all the red that was going on here in the meter? So we were peaking quite a bit. So we ran the compressor. Well, we ran the noise reduction. Then we ran the compressor. Let's go ahead and I'm going to do the amplify effect. And let's bring this down. I'm going to bring this down quite a bit because we were peaking quite a bit. How about about six decibels? I'm going to bring that down. Now let's see how we like this. So what I decided to do, I just pushed my blue baby bottle SL microphone out of the way. Because I might have did the, the uh, amplify too much. So you know what? I'm going to control Z to undo that. I'm going to go back. I'm going to do amplify again this time. We'll only do about four decibels down. So what I decided to do, I just pushed my blue baby bottle SL microphone. Yes, that's perfect. Still speaking, and it's still loud and clear, but it's it's not peaking anymore. We're not seeing all those reds, and it's just barely getting into the yellow. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to effects. I didn't like how bright that sound is. I don't know if you guys notice, I, I've got kind of a deep voice, of course, and that audio clip is bright and kind of tinny, kind of thin, and I th think that is because, not that the Blue Yeti has that kind of sound, the Blue Yeti has a great sound, but I kind of purposely was speaking about a foot from the Blue Yeti when I made that recording. The further away from the mic, the thinner that sound is. The closer you get, the fuller, richer, deeper that sound is. So. What I want to do is go to effects and I'm going to click the bass and treble effect. What I want to do is I'm going to add some bass. So by default, if you haven't played with this before, you know, it's going to have bass at zero, treble at zero and volume, which is basically like a gain. You can also increase the volume or decrease the volume in the treble and bass tool. But what I want to do is I'm going to raise this up the bass. I don't know why the slider isn't moving, but it is moving the uh, the numbers here. That's a little audio or graphical glitch inside Audacity. Anyway, I'm going to add five decibels of bass. Hit apply, hit close. So what I decided to do, I just pushed my blue baby bottle SL microphone out of the way because that's a very expensive and quite nice microphone. All right, the audio is starting to get there. Now, because the audio from that recording is so bad, I'm, that might be all the cleanup I really can do. Uh, now, if you want to, you can keep compressing or normalizing, reducing noise, things like that. But you have to understand, the more you do to the audio, sometimes the worse it gets. So you don't want to apply too many of these effects because you, there's a point of diminishing returns. For example, if you have a ton of noise in a recording, and you decide to do the noise reduction, but it doesn't really get rid of all of it. You know, you run the risk of if you set the noise reduction high enough or you run noise reduction enough times, it starts messing up the actual spoken parts of your sound. So at some point, you have to make some pragmatic decisions. You know, sometimes it's better to leave the noise in a recording um, than try to clean it up too much because you can mess up the parts where you're actually speaking. So you know what? I'm just going to leave this as is right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it. I'm going to export this as a MP3. So here is the original audio. So what I decided to do, I just pushed my blue baby bottle SL microphone out of the way because that's a very expensive and quite nice microphone. And I probably couldn't get that bad of a sound out of that microphone, to be honest. 
All right, and this is the cleaned up version. So what I decided to do, I just pushed my blue baby bottle SL microphone out of the way because that's a very expensive and quite nice microphone. And I probably couldn't get that bad of a sound out of that microphone, to be honest. So what do you guys think? What's the verdict on that? So just some of the basics of Audacity. Audacity has been just a lifesaver for me for the last couple of years. You know, since starting YouTube, I never fooled with audio video stuff before starting YouTube. But Audacity is great, especially that noise reduction feature. I'm telling you, in the beginning, you know, when you're using those horrible mics, sometimes they're they're so sensitive, they just pick up every little thing in your house. The noise reduction feature is worth its weight in gold in, in Audacity. The compressor also is really nice. Uh, and then being able to add bass or treble to something is nice. Amplifying, you know, the sound, whether you need it to be a little louder or if you're peaking, you know, reduce the amplification. You can also do effects in Audacity if you want to add reverb. You wouldn't want to do that with the spoken voice. Usually if you're doing radio or podcasting or anything like that, maybe for some musical effects, you might want to add a little reverb to something. You can even do things like reverse the sound, meaning it'll basically take that sound waveform and reverse it <laughs> kind of like people used to play their records backwards you know it has that kind of effect i don't know how practical that kind of effect is but audacity just has a ton of different plugins that you can use with it and again i think it's one of the best free and open source software programs out there and uh, if you use it on a daily basis again consider donating to those guys a really great piece of software before I go, this show was made possible by Alex, Handsome Chris, Daniel, David, DJ, Donnie, Dylan, George, Haplo, Nate, Corbinian, Lambda, Liam, Mitchell, Natek, Rob, Robert, Sean, Willie. They are the producers of the show. These guys are my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this episode about Audacity wouldn't have been possible. Also brought to you by all those other names you see on the screen, all those fine ladies and gentlemen that help support my work over on Patreon. A sincere thank you to each and every one of them. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider doing so. You'll find me at DistroTube over on Patreon. Alright guys, peace.